So what is going on everyone and welcome back to some more Destiny. So it is that time of the week again, the weekly reset. Time to take a look at some of the best vendor weapons and uh, this week is not as good as last week. I'll go ahead and say that right now, but at least old uh, Hideo over here, he actually got something this time. So let's go take a look at that. Alright, so the new Monarchy, they don't have much as usual, but the best thing they have is the Impeacher sidearm. So this is a decent roll. It's got the True Sight IS Sight, then it's got Quick Draw that you can choose between Hand Loaded or Army of One, whichever you prefer. I'd probably use hand loaded and then after that you have reactive reload so this would have been a lot better before they did the the special ammo changes because now you know once you die and you spawn in you only have enough in your round to maybe kill like one person but if you're picking up the special ammo crates a lot the reactive reload can be pretty good so once again Hideo not getting much sorry man so anyways on to the crucible quartermaster so first off we have the hero formula scout rifle this is a pretty good pvp roll and I guess you could use it in PvE if you want, but it's got Outlaw or Take a Knee. Like I've said, Take a Knee is a pretty good perk now, but you can choose between whichever one you want. And then after that, you have Brace Frame to increase the stability. It lowers the magazine size a little bit, but that stability helps out a lot, especially on this type of scout rifle because it fires really, really fast. And then you have Third Eye to keep your radar active while you aim down sights. So if, say you, if you have the artifact that gives you pretty much gives you Third Eye on all your primary weapons, uh, say you want to change it out for like the one where you remove your sprint penalty cooldown or... You know, you could use something else besides that since this has third eye on it. So overall, pretty solid roll, I would say. Then after that, once again, this week, the Palindrome. This seems to have a good roll every week. The only downside of this one is it doesn't have the True Sight or Sure Shot. I guess you could use Quick Draw if you want it, but the sights are anything too amazing. But the perks are still pretty dang good. So once again, Mulligan. This seems to actually Mulligan and Spray and Play. Those seem to come on this quite a bit. But then after that, you have Rifle Barrel and third eye so once again same thing applies to this if you have the artifact that gives you detail radar and you don't want to use it you can just throw this on there and use this although honestly the palindrome that was sold last week is way better than this i don't think i'll end up switching those out and plus i pretty much use the artifact that gives me detailed radar all the time anyways so i mean i probably wouldn't get it but you know if you don't like using the artifact you want to use something else this is still a good role for that so these last two aren't really amazing i guess they're decent i would say First up is the Each New Day Fusion Rifle, so all the reason I consider this one pretty good is because you have counterbalance and perfect balance, so it's going to be really, really stable, and you can choose between unflinching or life support. I would probably use life support, honestly. I don't think unflinching helps out that much, but the only reason I said this is decent is because you don't have anything to increase the range, so if you're playing on like a close-up map like, say, Asylum or something, I would say this would be pretty good up close, but like I said, only downside is that range. I wouldn't really worry too much about that. If you don't have a good Fusion Rifle, you can pick it up, but... If you already have a, a decent fusion rifle, I'll just hold off on that. Then last up is the Something Wicked Rocket Launcher. So this is mostly like a, a PvE roll right here. So you got Battle Runner or Army of One. I'd mostly use Army of One. Then you have Field Scout to increase the ammo capacity. And then also Tripod. So this is a... I wouldn't say amazing roll. I mean, you could use it in like Strikes or the Story Missions or something like that. When it comes to Raids, I would say the G-Horn is probably going to be used for the most part. So... Like I said, this is just a, a decent roll if you don't have a good rocket launcher. And that's pretty much it from the Crucible Quartermaster, so let's go ahead over to the Dead Orbit. So starting off with the Dead Orbit, we have a decent Keystone 01. So this comes with Extended Mag, Small Bore, and Fire Flask. This is pretty good for PvE. I guess you could use it in PvP if you wanted. But uh, Small Bore, you know, increase the range and stability. Lowers the magazine size a little bit, but you got Extended Mag to kind of make up for that. And then Firefly is just all around good on scout rifles. So that is a pretty solid PvE roll right there. And next up we have the Last Ditch 01 shotgun. So first off, this comes with Field Choke to increase the range and impact. Then you have Hand Loaded to increase the range even more. And Hammer Forge to increase the range again. Then after that you have Crowd Control. So shotguns are in a kind of weird place in the Crucible right now with the special ammo and all that. But I mean, this is still a pretty good roll. And plus Crowd Control. I actually like crowd control and shotguns quite a bit, especially in PvE. I think it's really, really good in PvE. So, I mean, you can honestly use this in PvP or PvE. Crowd control is really, really good in PvE, especially on shotguns, I think. So, overall, you know, it's not too bad. Then over to the Vanguard Quartermaster. So, to start off, I would say the Continental because it... Well, let's take a look at it. So, you can see here you have hand laid stock and counterbalance, but the only downside is it lowers your uh, range. And then the first two perks, you need to choose between hip fire or Battle Runner. This will be a really, really stable auto rifle. The only downside is the range isn't that good. So since this doesn't really have much range, I mean, you could use it on a close quarters map because it would be really, really stable. That would be pretty good. I actually like Battle Runner quite a bit, but I mean, hip fire is really good on auto rifles too. And plus it has the steady hand IS. So uh, that's a, a decent roll, I would say. Not a 10 out of 10, but maybe like a 7, 6 out of 10, something like that. And next up, we have the Parthian shot. So this is a really good roll this week, once again. So for the sights, I think the quick draw is probably the one I prefer out of all these. I don't really 
like those that much, but then you have Outlaw or Taken Knee. Like I said earlier, Taken Knee is actually a pretty good perk now. Then after that, we have Handlaid Stock to increase the stability, and then Counterbalance to increase the stability even more. So once again, this is a really good roll this week. So if you missed the one they sold last week, this is uh, another pretty good option if you like this type of pulse rifle. Then next up, we have the How Dare You Hang Cannon. So this is like the same archetype as like the Thorn when the with the rate of fire and impact. I mostly don't use these that much just because I prefer like the Palindrome or the AS Luna. You know, stuff like that. But anyways, this comes with the True Sight IS Sight, which gives you stronger target acquisition. Then first off, you have Mulligan, which is a decent perk on hand cannons. I mean, if you miss a shot, it has a chance to return it to the mag. And then after that, Rifle Barrel, which is always good on hand cannons. You practically need this on every hand cannon now. And then on top of that, you have Range Finder. So you're going to have quite a bit of range with this, although, like I said, the impact is a little bit less than with the uh, Palindrome or AS Luna or something like that. So, so, I mean, if you like this type of hand cannon, this is a pretty decent roll, but... Like I said, I'm just going to stick to like the Palindrome or the AS Lunar or something like that. So anyways, on to the future war cult. So I would honestly say they probably have the best stuff this week, or at least the best thing this week. And that is the Wounded Scout Rifle. So this is an amazing PvE roll, without a doubt. So look at this. Explosive Rounds, Triple Tap, and Crowd Control. That is a very, very good PvE combo. For one, Explosive Rounds and Crowd Control, that's a really good combo on its own. Like Especially in Crota's Inn, like the... The starting point, like in the abyss of Crota's End, where all those thrall and everything surround you, just explosive rounds, crowd control, it takes out so many of them at one time. And then plus, just triple tap and explosive rounds is really good too. Like, it's good for staggering stuff, so if you don't have a good PvE scout rifle, I highly recommend you pick this up. Honestly, this is probably my most recommended thing this week, because this is a really good roll. 10 out of 10 IGN. Then next up, once again, we have the Wormwood. This has a good roll every week. So, start off, you got the True Sight, IS Sight, and Sure Shot, whichever one you prefer. And after that, you got high caliber rounds, fitted stock, and range finder. So, I mean, once again, <laughs> a good roll. If you don't have a sidearm, here's you uh, another chance to get one. So, there you go. Then after that, the last thing is the Warpath. So, this is kind of like a ripoff version of the one that was sold a few weeks ago. So, you got Field Scout, Javelin, and Cluster Bombs. The only downside is this doesn't have Tripod, which was what the one a few weeks ago had. Although, if you have Gauntlets that increase your reload speed with Rocket Launchers, I guess this could be okay, especially in Wrath of the Machine. But, I mean, if you have something like the Dark Drinker, I wouldn't worry about picking this up because... I feel like the Dark Drinker is going to do more damage than this one since it doesn't have tripods, so wouldn't really worry about it. But, you know, if you don't have anything like that, this is a, a decent roll. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So, as always, I would like to thank you all for watching, and, of course, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, if you could take a second to leave a thumbs up on the video, I would really appreciate it. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and all that good stuff. And until next time, I will catch you all later.